We need to talk about these Dream SMP compilation channels that are just absolutely shameless. Hello people and welcome back to another episode of YouTube is Terrible. Today we're looking at a couple of channels that consistently use the members of the Dream SMP in order to clickbait tragic events. Subscribe so we can hit 250,000 subscribers. We're getting really close and I'd really appreciate that. Also like the video for free oxygen. So there are literally endless channels that are similar to what we're taking a look at today. These channels basically just clip and post about every single little detail that dream smp members do for example if tommy and it was streaming and he like cracked his knuckles or something during the stream they would post a video titled like tommy and it breaks his fingers on stream and the thumbnail would be like tommy and it's in pure agony yeah that's basically what these channels all do now let me just point out i do make sort of similar content to these channels it is different though because i'm only really reacting to news and drama that's happening within the community but i do use like tommy and its face crying or whatever or george not found screaming to pull in some extra views i mean it's just honestly the best way to grab people's attention and i always try to make sure that it actually does relate to what i'm talking about and also for the most part these channels aren't really that bad if anything they actually benefit the streamers because it just shows more and more people who these streamers are and you know they're just like fan pages basically but the majority of these channels are also post some videos that are just completely not okay. So the point where I noticed that these channels were taking a turn for the worst was mostly whenever Technoblade passed away. Rest in peace, by the way. I never really talked about that on this channel just because I don't feel comfortable profiting off of talking about someone's death like these channels are, uh, hence why I'm not putting Technoblade anywhere in the title or thumbnail or description or anything. But what had happened was uh, just a few hours after Technoblade's death, these channels started spamming uploads of like, like dream smp members reacting to technoblade's death where they would just compile all the tweets into a video that the dream smp members were saying about the certain situation this one being technoblade and they would basically just turn these tweets into a slideshow and throw some music in the background since they were talking about such a trending topic this specific topic being a youtuber tragically dying they would be getting millions of views like if you look at these channels most viewed videos the majority of them are about technoblade like i said at the the start of the video just absolutely shameless literally just a few moments after technoblade died they had already started grinding out these technoblade clip videos it's not like they're nice commemorative videos of technoblade it's just clips with captions of dream smp members either talking about technoblade or like i said they literally just throw tweets on a screen like these videos were literally zero effort it was nothing to show appreciation to technoblade it was more just like hey this youtuber died and this this youtuber talked about technoblade dying so i can just take that clip post it and make hella money like genuinely it is disgusting and that's not all the bad that these channels have done they're still doing bad to this day and there is some more recent events that has happened which we're going to talk about but also some really weird things i've seen from these channels is them like clickbaiting dream smp members sexuality or like saying like george not found sexuality reveal or like clickbaiting that dream said that he's gay whenever he literally never said that like this stuff right here is just weird i don't think someone's sexuality warrants a whole entire video also i don't think anybody wants dream smp members and their sexuality compilation oh let's see each dream smp members sexuality because that matters so much you know personally i don't really care what sexuality somebody is i'm gonna support them nonetheless like we don't need video compilations talking about people and their sexualities it's honestly really weird there's even more dream sexuality reveal dream revealed his sexuality on stream i bet i could put any dream smp member in the search bar and i'm gonna find more i mean watch george not found george's sexuality reveal 220,000 views dream exposes george not found sexuality like what are these channels like <laughs> again i'll just throw like carl jacobs in there and look carl jacobs reveals his sexuality this was uh two months ago and then if we look at the next video it's literally the same exact thumbnail and same exact title just different pronunciations carl jacobs reveals his sexuality just all caps i bet you it's the same video yeah look they're both 32 seconds it's the same exact clip this one was uploaded yesterday and the other one was uploaded two months ago this is just like a money printing scheme or a sub farming scheme i don't even know what the hell these channels are like what is going on and i bet you they have so many kids convinced that these channels are actually like real dream smp branded channels 
channels. Because that's what they try and make it appear to be. And the only way to really find out that they aren't is to go to their about section, which I mean, who the hell goes to people's about sections anymore and in their about it says i am just a fan of dream smp but we all know that they're trying to make it look like they're an official dream smp channel and i'm sure they got tons of people fooled i mean what is this video tommy reveals his boyfriend isn't tommy the streamer who sits on stream and talks about women the whole time and how much he loves women i i, I don't think he has a boyfriend crazy thought i know but um just don't think so anyways i think that the worst that these channels have done is 100% the Technoblade stuff. Like immediately spamming a million videos about a dead YouTuber who just passed away is absolutely messed up. And then this whole thing with the Dream SMP sexuality reveals, it, that part's just kind of weird. Like I wouldn't really be comfortable if I was like a streamer and people were like, Kade Boy sexuality reveal. Like who cares what it is? Um, by the way, I'm straight. But like, that's just none of your guys' business. I'm sorry, all right? You're here to listen to me talk you don't need to know my sexuality and people don't need to sit there and clickbait people's sexuality no i mean of course if i feel comfortable sharing it with you i can which i just did and if these streamers feel comfortable sharing it then sure they can but they don't need all these channels clickbaiting it the second that they share it anyways in recent news we all know that queen elizabeth ii has passed away now some people have different opinions about the queen some didn't like her they didn't care that she died they made fun of her death whatever and then there were also people who mourned her death but at the end of the day a very historical lady has passed away and uh somehow these channels decided to make it all about the dream smp like literally immediately after the queen's death was announced these channels had like five videos up of like dream reacts to queen elizabeth's death j Schlatt reacts to queen elizabeth's death dreams last words to queen elizabeth as if dream talks to the queen oh no the queen died uh huh, I wonder what dream the Minecraft speedrun YouTuber last said to Queen Elizabeth. Said nobody, I really doubt that anyone's sitting there thinking, hmm, do you think Dream knew the Queen? Um, by the way, he, he didn't know the Queen. <laughs> What is YouTube, man? Like, what is this video, bro? Tommy in it says goodbye to Queen Elizabeth. I can't stop crying. I don't even know how the hell they had the idea to make this about the Dream SMP. He was sitting there, and then they see the news that Queen Elizabeth died, and they're like, oh, I need to make a video talking about how Tommy in it reacts to the Queen's death. What are you doing? Like, why is that why you're running to your editing program for? Anyways, these channels need to chill. They should just go back to clipping like Jay Schlatt is super mad at Tommy. Like, just have those videos, whatever. Let's not clickbait death or sexuality, okay? Just weird. Anyways, that's about enough YouTube for me today. And uh, yeah, bye. Haven't seen enough? I got you. Check out this video right here. I'll see you over there.